Hi, this is Tim. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the PLC tools and coder simulator to the Micro 850 PLC. Uh, this is the SIM-EOC, which is the open collector version of our encoder simulator. And what that means is that our A, A0, B, B0, Z, and Z0 are going to be taken to the common each time it switches. So we're going to use this wiring diagram to wire ours. Mainly we're going to feed 24 volt to the common of inputs 0 through 7. And then we're going to take input 0 to channel A which will actually be the A plus on our encoder simulator. And then we're gonna take input one to channel B, which will be the B plus on our encoder simulator. Now for this example, we're not actually gonna use the Z marker, but you would wire it the same way if you were. So we're gonna start by unplugging the power to our trainer. And our first wire was to take plus 24 volt to the common of our micro 850. So I'm gonna take a wire from the plus of our 24 volt, and I'm gonna connect it to COM0, and you can't quite see those, but it is going to be the first terminal here on the left. And while I'm up there, I'm gonna connect a wire to input zero and input one. So when you're done, you'll have a wire connected to the COM0, which we already connected to the plus 24 volt. And then we're gonna have a wire to input zero and input one. Just wanna make sure you got a good close up of that. Then we'll take the wire that is connected to input zero and we're gonna put it to the A plus of our encoder simulator. And we'll take input one and connect it to the B plus of our encoder simulator. Now this is a little confusing because you see the plus and minus and you think you have to make it a circuit, but it's not. What it is is these are always gonna be opposite and it's a checking feature. When A plus is on, A minus is gonna be off. And when A plus is off, A minus is gonna be on. So you only need to use the plus when you're connecting to the micro 850. So next we need to power our simulator, which is on the bottom of it. We're gonna connect a wire to the Z plus and to the COM. So now we'll take the wire that we connected to the plus V over to our plus 24 volt power. And we'll take the wire that's connected to the COM terminal and connect it to our minus 24 volt. And that's it. So really you have two wires coming out of the top of the simulator, two wires coming out of the bottom, and they're landed at two wires coming out of the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and power it up. On our HMI, I've just made a position, which is this top one, and a rate, which is the next row. And hopefully I have it large enough that you can see it on the video. Now, if you're wondering exactly how to configure the Micro 850 high-speed counter, I have a video for that, and I'll put it down in the description. Also, we have a video that we did that where we took a really deep dive in how encoder signals actually work and you definitely should watch it as well. But to operate our encoder simulator, there's two simple buttons on the front of it. You have a frequency and you have a direction. And so when the light is solid, the encoder is not moving or you're not rotating. And the frequency button, you can scroll right through your frequencies and we have 10 Hertz, 100 Hertz, 1000 Hertz or one kilohertz and 10,000 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz. And if we press the first time, then we're gonna start going negative or in the reverse direction. So you see our rate is 40. Now it says 10 Hertz here and we're showing 40 here. And that's because the micro 850 quadrature counts, which means that for every pulse, it's gonna count the rising and falling. I'm just gonna give you four times as many. Now it's blinking about one second on, one second off, and that tells you it's going in reverse. If we press it again, you're gonna see it start to blink faster. And that signifies that it's going forward. And also our rate now is 40 in the positive direction. And our numbers are going down because right now we're in the negative. Then we can press the frequency button and it'll switch it to 100 Hertz. And now we're showing 400 over here. We press it again, it's going to go to 1000 Hertz, which is shown by 4000. And finally, we press it again, and we're going to be going the max speed of 10 kilohertz or 40,000 pulses over here. And at any time, we can press the direction button. If we're going forward and we press it, it's going to stop. You see our rate went to zero and our position is frozen. 
and we can press it again and we'll start going reverse. Press it again forward and you can switch frequency at any time. So I'll put a link to this down in the description along with the link on how to configure the high speed counter in the Micro 850 and how to understand the signals that are actually coming out of your encoder. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.